I'm really proud of the balance in our team and, and the tempo that we played with. I thought first half we really showed the speed that we can play with. Um, we had four guards at times, and sometimes we had a big lineup. So I love the versatility. I love the balance in, in scoring and the fact that we have you know, a high number of assists on our shots um, is a great sign and thought, you know, just thought we shared the ball really well. Uh, it's always fun when it goes in, you know, this is a team that we really believe in their ability to score and shoot it and they showed that tonight. Have you had a team score almost 100 points in three quarters? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, just even at half, you know, I mean, you know, here obviously we've struggled scoring the last three seasons and we knew that was going to be a big change for us this year that we had you know, just so many more options that could help relieve some of the, the, the droughts that we've had in the past. But I don't, I don't think I've ever been on a team that's, that scored it like they did tonight. 64% shooting from the field. Just how impressed were you with the efficiency tonight across the board? Yeah, I thought we made great decisions. You know, I thought we um, took good shots. You know, we ran the floor. Um, we converted when we turned them over. Um, all those are, are great signs and good things to see. Chaprici goes 7 of 10 from the field and 4 of 5 from 3. So uh, clearly it was working for you tonight. What did, what did you see from like your teammates and yourself today that really pleased you? Um, I saw energy, people picking people up, people staying in people's ears, and just a lot of togetherness. And that's what they preach, so that's what we did. It looked a lot different than last year out there. How, how different did it feel, and does it feel good to not be double and triple teamed all the time? Yeah, it feels good. I feel fresh. I'm not as tired as I, know I would normally be after a game. So it feels good to just be fresh, my legs to be fresh. All right, uh, obviously 28 assists, Jabris, uh from the team overall. How, did it feel like the ball movement was really good out there today for you? Yes, it did. I feel like we found our open shooters like most of the time. How big of a change is that from, uh, I guess, last year? Did it, did it feel out there? Uh, in general? Yeah, in general and just the, with the ball movement and the, uh, the uh, more free-flowing offense. Uh, well, it's different because we got people that can make shots now. So I think that we believe in each other to make shots. So we move the ball around. So that's a big difference than last year. We didn't have that many people that can make shots. Coach, uh, how would you, or I, how, how, how do you think the team maybe improved, or what changes do you think you've seen from this game compared to the scrimmage last week? Um, you know, we focused all week um, on rebounding it. And, and I, there's no question I thought there were times that people pursued the ball harder, rebounding it, um, whether that be offense or defensive. And, and, and we'll look at the film. Those are things that sometimes you don't really seek as clearly as when you, when you go back and watch film. You know, I'm hoping that when we go watch film, we see at a good attempt to put bodies on people in box and, and go board. We've got to be more fundamental in that area. Um, than we were last weekend. You know, Oregon State was very, very big, so that was something that, that got exposed. So I'll have to look at the film to see how much better we were there. Um, but, you know, I, I, I think that what I take away the most is how much we shared the ball. I mean, every time there was an extra pass to be made, it was made. Um, and, then, and then we rewarded each other by making open shots. Could, could you talk about Jada's presence tonight inside? And I mean, 20 minutes, she goes 16 points and eight rebounds. Yeah, Jada was the one that, when I was talking about rebounding, really came to mind. I, she, there was a, a, you know, just a conscious effort to go board the ball um, on the offensive side. You know, J when Jada gets tired, you know, sometimes like all of us, we can stand and watch. But I thought she was really pursuing the glass um, and and did a good job of trying to control the defensive glass as much as she could and. Um, and, and being aggressive, you know, I mean, very efficient. Seven for ten, she's going to get fouled. We've got to, you know, she's got to practice a lot of free throws and feel really confident from the line. But I thought she played really well. And then one comment on the turnover, she only had 11. For as much activity and as ball movement you have, mm -hmm. that's pretty impressive. It is because of, you know, how many possessions we played and how fast we played. The faster you play, the more you're going to turn it over. But this is a group that, to me, really thrives in transition. I think the faster they play, the better they are. Uh, Coach, I get, you kind of touched on it earlier, but how would you uh, evaluate the effort you saw, particularly late in the game when the score was what it was and fairly the result was fairly in hand? I was happy with, I think, the entire first half effort. And, and um, you know, my assistants did a fantastic job of just subbing in, subbing out, keeping everybody really fresh and getting, on, and getting good rotations. 
Um, and then I, I thought we started a little bit flat just on the defensive end, not the offensive end. I thought we ran to start the game, but we, we started in the zone and we, we kind of started a little flat. And then um, and then I thought we picked it up, understanding that we're you know we're trying to be the best we can be regardless of um, the score or um, the situation. So um, I thought we picked it up in a lot of ways. Thank <laughs> you.